Hey, what's up, everyone? Happy Friday. Welcome to the Friday with Felicia, episode 17. 17? You still look 17, by the way. Oh my gosh, so thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> she she 17 looks, again. She looks 16. Really. You look maybe 12. That's but um, <laughs> hey, guys, what's up? I'm here with my good friends, Next Homies, Nick and Miyuki, today. Super pumped to have you guys on the show. We are at our office in Upper Arlington at Next Home. What's up? What's going on? I think today, I think an important subject is COVID-19 and how it's affecting like all of us and like as, as realtors and as yes. buyers and as sellers. What are we going to do? Like, it. let's talk about it. Like, how mm -hmm. is it affecting us and impacting our business? Right? How has well, it? How has it? Because you guys are staying super busy still. So, what is that looking like for your business right now? It's a lot of virtual tours. Actually, we have a lot of buyers, and I'm actually going on a lot of lot of showings without any clients. And I'm doing FaceTime videos, and and basically we had a couple of cases. We had actually one home that we sold together that. The person never seen, which is really cool. Really, mm -hmm. just recently. Just recently, and okay. uh, we closed it three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Where was the house at? It, the house is located in Lock Lomond. The price point well, okay. it is seven fifty. Mm -hmm. I just had clients um, on Bacardi Court a couple months ago. Oh, nice. I saw you, Kylie, and then she, oh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. Yeah. So, okay, how did you find this client, or how did they find you? That was a pretty cool process, actually. So we had the house, we have a house on the market. They, uh, Miyuki was basically the, uh, the lead listing agent because she knew, she knew the seller, and I did a co-list with her. Uh, somebody called me, a, a physician moving back into town, uh, gave me a call and said they liked the house, they liked the area. Uh, can they see it? Mm -hmm. They're like, fine. Sure. I'm like, okay. When would you like to schedule a show? And they're like, hey, I still live in Wisconsin, man. He's like, I can't go. I can't go. Can you guys do a FaceTime video? They're like, I read your reviews that you've done this. So the person read some of my reviews that, that I've previously you're done. You're glowing, this. I'm sure. And then they're like, <laughs> but yeah, that's not. The, it's just like it, it, reading the reviews and people knowing that you can do this stuff for them, and then they could trust it's you. Really different. Yeah. So and then they went through, and then Miyuki did a fantastic job of, of going in. I called Miyuki up. She scheduled it with the seller. She showed him the property in the house virtually uh, through a FaceTime video, right? Exactly. Yeah. This is me in the house. Oh, let me show you this home. And then uh, oh, I actually went and outside yeah. to the backyard and then I think the first time it's just video and second time I have my measurement things uh, like this is like a 12 to 8 like uh, how big is the room because second mm -hmm. time they are maybe like the furniture and how high the ceiling is so so that's definitely above and beyond service and I think the future of everything that's happened this year a lot more of that is going to be happening. I I personally had someone by last year relocating from Texas, but um, still a lot of my buyers want to see the house though. So it's, it's interesting. But if someone really wants the house, like this person from Wisconsin, that's not just a $200,000 house either. That's a large investment. I think that you're absolutely right. The people that live here can see the house, but there's so many people relocating to Columbus. Columbus is such a hot market. It's it no is. top of like top in the country almost every month. And this month it was again top. Yeah. So it's a one or one to ten every month, whatever it is, the past ten years. So yeah, because the number the national average days on market is twenty two days, but Columbus is five days. That's an amazing stat. I did not know that. Um, I just read it was like 14 recession proof markets and Columbus and Cleveland were actually both on there. And so, yeah, a lot of people are wanting to come here. And I think even after this year, maybe people are reevaluating those high rise condos in bigger metropolitan cities too. And they're wanting to, I, I don't know, that's just. No, you're absolutely right. Cause I'm from the East Coast and everyone is yeah. reevaluating everything there. They're moving out to the Burbs. They, they want a bigger house with a, a, a garage they could put their gym in, a, maybe a pool. So because you could do now, you could do work remotely, mm -hmm. right? And why not live? Why why have work your house remotely? Exactly. Work yeah. out remotely. Everything. Is That's the reason. The I figure I think someone told me the house in suburban area like a Pau, Dublin has multiple offers. This is like the downtown is a little bit cool down. 
Interesting. Yeah, down, yeah, downtown has slowed down tremendously. And commercial business, commercial office space, obviously, in retail is, is a completely different ballgame now. Yeah. And so now people are saying, isn't that going to affect the real estate market? It affects the office market because no one's working from the office space, right? Where are they working from? Home. Right. Right? So you're working from home. What happens? Companies reevaluating. Yeah. Do we yeah. need to go back to the office type setting? So people are going to want to yeah. increase the size of their home because if, if you live in a small house and then now, you are, now you're working out of your house, you only need more space. Quarantine. Right, right. Your relationships in a good way or bad way, right? Oh, yeah. So, oh my God. We have some stories there. Yeah. This is funniest yeah. year you could have ever been. It's going to be memorable for everyone. So, if you're a psychologist out there, you just take this uh, and use this as a uh, job interview. Your, your job market is going to probably increase. Uh, so <laughs> That's quite, very true. I, I, I agree. I agree. I think there's a lot of valuable lessons. Uh, we're learning in our business and our personal lives of how efficient we can be using technology. Mm -hmm. Zoom calls. I've, I've done a lot of virtual Zoom calls this year. Um, listings, certainly, you know, that's a little bit different. Working with a seller where you're wanting to walk the home, visually see it, get a feel of the neighborhood before, you know, offering your, your price of the home as well. But a lot of that can be done before you ever step foot in the home. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, I mean, uh, I mean, we have a lot more to talk about. We probably could go on and on. I know. I would love to have you guys on to talk about that specifically and like pricing a home and strategy. So we should do that again. Uh, let us know your thoughts on that of what you would like to know, um, both on the buy side and sell side of how to be competitive um, pricing your home. That's key. That's okay. very key. All yeah, right. So, cool. Well, thank you guys so much. This was awesome. Um, love you guys. Do the work. Do it well. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, where can find, people find you on Instagram, uh, Facebook? Yeah, and Nick will see this if you could spell that correctly. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Just share the link. Yeah. 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 Link okay. Below. I, I will link them. Um, thanks so much, guys, for watching. And um, see you next week. Happy 17th. Happy 17. <laughs> <laughs> to be 17 again. <laughs>